Hello, let us learn something about BiPAP machine today. You all know that newborn intensive care unit uses multiple non-invasive mode of respiration. Normally we use CPAP, high flow nasal cannula and of course this BiPAP. In the CPAP, during the inspiration and expiration the same pressure will be delivered. That is CPAP. Here, this is a BiPAP device. You can see the BiPAP device. It is a small device and it has got a tube connected to the interface here. See, it is connected to the interface. We use OptiFlow device interface only. And there is a small knob here which is open which you can connect to the oxygen. Baby requires a very small amount of oxygen. So, you can deliver oxygen. So, oxygenated air can be delivered to the baby. If you look at this box, this has got the display. You can see the display here. This is this is on button, on and off button. These two buttons, if I press actually, you will get the machine gets on. And then you can see there are S bar T. S means spontaneous and time. And normally, the pressure what is required here is there are two levels of pressure we give. You can see 10 and 5. Can you see that? Yes. 10 is called as inspiratory positive area pressure, that is IPAP. And then you have got another one, 5 you have got. 5 is expiratory positive air pressure. So, you have got, if you take the pressure over time, so what you see is the inspiratory and then you see expiratory. So, the two level is called as bi level positive airway pressure. So, can you see that why it is called bi level positive air pressure? You are dealing and difference between the 10 and 5 is around 5. Okay. The other thing what you see here is you will find you need you need to see what other things we keep here. See, if you see the parameters, normally when we deliver BiPAP to the baby, we keep rate of 30 we are kept here, it can be kept between 10 and 30. I time is kept within 0.5 to 1 second. So, what we have kept in between 0.5 and 1, one second we are kept. So, here what, what does it mean? Suppose the baby does not breathe, some backup rate is given. So, backup rate of 30 is given. Suppose that is why it is called spontaneous and time. The inspirated time what we are given is around 0.7 second where the inspiration terminates. So, what are the parameters you have to adjust here? One is you put the pressure to two levels. Normally, you can go to 0 to 2 to 30 centimeters, that is IPAP, 2 to 25 centimeters EPAP. Mm -hmm. Normally, we keep around 10 and 5, and the difference will be around 5. The rate backup rate will be 30, as you see here, and the inspiratory time is around 0.7 second. Are you clear about this? Yes. And what are the indications for giving this file? This baby was stopping breathing especially during sleep, what is called as like sleep apnea. So, one of the reasons why the signal is coming, not coming from the brain to the diaphragm or the respiratory muscles, baby is in respiratory failure, that is one of the important indications for giving BiPAP. Other thing actually, anything related to airway causing, airway problem causing the respiratory failure is another important areas where we can give BiPAP. And also, this BiPAP is not connected to any respiratory device, you can see that. There is no central oxygen, central air connected to this, only one box, everything inbuilt and here it is easy to handle. So, it can be easily taught to the parents, this BiPAP machine and how to set up the uh, instrument also we can teach them and this is very easy, see interface is also easy. So, most of our babies when they are here with respiratory failure on CPAP and we make a trend that the baby goes on to this type of device, stay for some time, they learn and most of the babies they have gone home on BiPAP and this is one important thing. So, if you see this BiPAP, always when you give more pressure, what will happen? It will deliver the oxygen also, the air into the tummy, sometimes you get the abdominal distinction. So, that is one thing you need to keep in mind in BiPAP. So, in the nutshell, BiPAP is a life-saving device, it is a non-invasive respiratory support and it is easy to handle at home to the parents. If you like this video, share and subscribe.
Thank you.